want to introduce you now to Dan Miller, who's the president of the CE division of Manitou Group, of CEO of Manitou America. How are you? Good to see you, Well, Roger. we've been talking here uh, off camera, and <laughs> you've been telling us how, uh, how pleased you are with this show attendance so far. Yeah, I'd say this year, and the word I used was phenomenal uh, yes, as you far did. as the show. I'm going to hold you to and it. And I realize that's a strong <laughs> word, but uh, the traffic's been excellent. Uh, the quality of the people coming through the show uh, has been excellent, and the attitude, amazing. So, Well, Manitou's all long had a big footprint in the construction business. Give us an idea of what you brought into the show this year. Well, this year we've, uh, we've got a couple new products from the Manitou side. We've got the MHT 1490, and then we've got an MLT 960. Uh, the 1490, which is used in the bridge construction and energy level or energy uh, a work, that's going to be a really unique product for us going forward. Uh, the 960 used in the agricultural side a little more as well as recycling, uh, another good product that we brought. So these are two new products just, just unveiled at the show. Now, what's the message you bring into your customers? Uh, is it is it different from last year in that there's lots of new technologies that are being imposed here? Well, obviously there's a lot of new technology, especially with Tier 4 and, and all those uh, uh, pieces that we have to comply with. But service and support, you know, we heard this a lot from our customers uh, throughout the show, is it, it's a huge. And uh, I was very happy to hear uh, complimentary comments from our customers on the service and support factor and that's what makes us both successful. We've got to have the product that's a given but the service and support being able to give that to our customer uh, it, it's paramount. They have to have it and we're both successful with that. Well service, serviceability, sustainability, uh, environmental <laughs> regulations, they all, they all fit into this puzzle this year. What do you see coming up on the horizon? What do you see next? You've been, you've been around a couple of years, and, and is there anything really that, that pops out in your mind that says, boy, is something we have to look forward to? Well, you know, the piece that, that's a little wild is that I'm sure the tier regulations are gonna continue to change. Sure. And uh, so we wanna make sure we're prepared for that. So that's been a challenge. A lot of companies have spent an awful lot of time in the recent years spending time on engine regulation, and I think maybe we'll get a little breath here between Tier 4 and Tier 5 where we spend more time on true innovation of the product. Uh, we've tried to couple a little more innovation along with Tier 4 during this time, and, uh, but I think, I think that's going to be one of the big pieces, and uh, now as that settles down a little bit, I think it'll be good for yeah, all of Yeah, I us. think there'll be some breathing room uh, built in here for the next few years that, that at least let some of this capacity just just move in and, uh, let's say, rise to the surface and catch up to uh, where we have to do. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, it's good talking to you. Good talking to you, uh, too. Dan right Miller, who is the uh, president of uh, the CE division of the Manitou Group, and you see their equipment everywhere out there. Uh, I want to thank you. hope you have a good, successful time at the show.